Hi everyone, following the previous video, what if we wanted to get the, these values from the user instead of just typing them in? So if I were to use the input method, um, and I'll have the message enter first number displayed to the user, and I'll do the same for the second value, and just change the message. So what happens here is this is going to be a string value stored in a variable that we then perform calculations. So this is going to be a problem because we can't really um, do mathematical operations on strings. So when I run the program and I'll put the values 2 and 2, you'll notice that the, um, the program is complaining and it's saying that, you know, you can't really perform such operations on string variables. So the fix is to actually convert this into a type that is suitable for calculations. So in this case, I'm going to use the float method and this will convert this value or the string into a float. And that's exactly what we want because we want to perform mathematical calculations and that way we can also work with um, numbers with decimal points. So I'll do the same for the other one. And I'll run the program and test to see if this works. So I'm going to put number two and again number two. And this works perfectly fine now. Okay, so that's the fix is to actually convert the uh, the string input into a, a float. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.